This is amazing. Face to face of a brown hyena. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. Wow, look at this around me. You see all these dead trees. They're thousands of years old. So the place used to be a waterhole. All of this was covered with water and there's life that was sustained around it. But what happened was that all these dunes were moving and then cut off the water supply. And at that point, everything died. So we were coming out here earlier this morning and we were just getting some B-roll because it's such a special location. But what we came across was totally unexpected. This is what happened. See over there in the distance. That's a lone oryx. Incredible. Often you see them in groups. Those huge horns, amazing. Oh, they really are one of the most underappreciated grazers. So what they do, they're actually eating the grasses that's growing somehow on this very, very dry environment. And even though there is very little rain here, they can still get the moisture from the vegetation that they're eating. Oh, cool. Another species right here, look, it's an ostrich. And, and loads and loads of baby ostriches. Let's get out and have a look at this. Wow, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven baby ostriches with a male and a female. The male is the darker one on the left-hand side. Females are lighter coloration, so the one on the right is a, is a female. So we've got a mum and dad with 11 kids. Wow, that is just so cool. Love it. Let's head on that way. We've arrived at the dead play. This location is too special to pass up, so we started to shoot some beautiful location shots and general B-roll with no species target in mind. But little did we know, one of the most secretive species in the world was also here. Over there in the distance, we can't see it right now. I've just seen one of the rarest predators out here. You'd think nothing can live here, but there is a brown hyena. Time to edge closer. The brown hyena is the rarest of the four species of hyena. They're known for scavenging and having a fearless attitude. They win fights against leopards and painted dogs. And with a top speed of over 50 kilometers an hour, they can and do hunt if they need to. Now, what I don't want to do is scare him too much. If he doesn't notice I'm around, and then I get too close and I scare him, that could be a situation. So I just need to make sure he knows I'm around. Well, you have to be careful of hyenas. They've got incredible jaw pressure. They can crunch through bone. So we will see hyena poo, and it actually is white. It's because it's actually eating everything, including that bone, and it crunches all the way through. Unsurprisingly, brown hyenas have one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom. At 1,200 pounds per square inch, that's 10 times that of a human's. He just popped his head up. He does know I'm here. Those big ears, he can hear me. You just don't want to startle an animal like this. And now maybe 25 meters away from this brown hyena, there's nothing else around, completely in the middle of nowhere. Wow, this is amazing. That's an oryx horn. He's got an oryx horn in his mouth right now. So I have to be extremely careful because we've got a predator with his food, and he may see me as somebody who's trying to take that food off him. This is a species which is very rarely seen, and we have one right here 
in the dead play. This place is the last strong foothold for this species. Only 5,000 left in the world. It's vulnerable to extinction. Do you just think nothing can survive out here? But what there is out here is oryx, are able to survive with very little moisture. And then ultimately, the oryx is food for the brown hyena. But there's nothing more amazing than being on foot amongst African wildlife because it just gets you that sense, that connection to it. And it makes you feel quite raw and vulnerable yourself, actually, is that I'm only very short distance away from one of the rarest predators out here. But he doesn't see me as prey. Human being doesn't look like their food, so they don't see me as something that they want to eat. Maybe a potential threat if I got a bit closer because he might think that I'm trying to steal his food off him. Brown hyenas live in a range of habitats, from the woodlands to savanna bushland to here in the true desert. Finding a meal in this vast landscape, the hyena must maintain a home range of over 3,000 square kilometers. And each night, they travel at least 15 miles in search of food. With very few lions here to scavenge from, they must adapt. This includes eating desert melons to hunting seals on the coast and quite possibly taking on a springbok or a weak oryx in the cover of the night. You can see how robust they are though. Just absolutely just powerful, built with strength in mind. It's all in the jaw pressure and that actually allows them to get as much of the nutrients as possible out of any meal to be able to get all the calcium out of the bones. It's really important for them to be able to get that. I'm just going to get my selfie camera out so I can show you what it's like to be face to face with a brown hyena. So there, that's what it feels like to be face to face with a brown hyena. It's making some growling noises. I feel like that's as far as I'm going to be able to push it. But this is where I'm just going to sit and enjoy the moment. And watch the brown hyena eat his meal. Oh, he's on the move. probably as far as I think I'm going to push it. Let's get on the warm up and I'm going to back away. I'm going to back away. But there you go. The brown hyena out here in the dead flay of these sand dunes. Woohoo! Yes! Off he goes. He's starting to warm up so he's going to go and find a cool area now. moved off there we're safe now to see what remains are left of his meal and see where he's been staying in his little haven. We can see his footprints coming this way. So if you see these, you know it's a hyena, but that's the size of a hyena print. It's got four toes. And if you look here, that's the remains of his horn, of the oryx. Wow, look at that. You wouldn't want that impaling in you if you were attacking it. What a special, special animal. Unbelievable. That will stay with me for the rest of my life, 100%. I love it when you can really interact with a species out in the wild and they're not phased by you at all. They just let you just watch and observe them and you get to understand their behavior even more. And I learned something today is that you really can live in a place like this that looks completely hostile 
there's animals that can thrive out here. The oryx, they can get the moisture from the vegetation. That in turn provides the food for the big predators. And out here, their brown hyena is the top predator. Yes.